Now on News for Jax at 6, it's a case that's rocked Putnam County for years, the disappearance of Haley Cummings. Today, her father, Ronald, walked out of prison. It's putting the spotlight back on the search for the missing girl who would now be in her late teens. The Putnam County Sheriff's Office has kept open the case of the missing then five-year-old. The Sheriff's Office says it's followed up on thousands of leads, which include two more recent leads in different states. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson has followed this case since it first happened in 2009. Scott, you just spoke with Haley's grandmother moments ago there in Putnam County. I did. We've kept in touch with her since 09 Joy, and she was here. She brought Ronald Cummings home to her house. They're putting him up at a place to stay for a few weeks to get acclimated back into society. After serving several years for drug charges, now she tells me that he still focuses on his daughter all these years later. To this day, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office says they still get regular tips on whatever happened to Haley Cummings. Still, there hasn't been any real progress. Two of the most recent tips came from across the country. First, there was a person interviewed in Tennessee with possible information. That went nowhere. Then there was an interesting lead in Oregon, a transient who was claiming to be Haley and was about her age. Detectives traveled to Oregon and took DNA. It was not her. At this point, the case is moving toward cold case status. One thing that has detectives still perplexed is whether any of the people locked up for drug charges with Ronald Cummings had anything to do with their disappearance. Ronald was the only one never suspected by investigators because he was working when she disappeared and regularly spoke out about his desire to find Haley in 2009. Please call and give it to the police department so we can get my daughter back. Please, all we want is my child. That's it. I just want my daughter back. That's all. Ronald Cummings' then-girlfriend, Misty Croslin, was watching Haley the night of her disappearance. Croslin is currently serving a decades-long prison sentence. She's not scheduled to get out until 2031. When the various suspects were sentenced to prison on drug charges, one of the hopes prosecutors had was that one of them may have information on what happened to Haley. But that never came to fruition. And now the Putnam County Sheriff's Office continues to take regular tips that to this point, 13 years later, haven't turned up anything. And there is a hefty reward out there for anyone with information who leads to uh, finding Haley. It's $15,000. You have to call Crime Stoppers of Northeast Florida. You can't be anonymous. The number is 1-888-277-TIPS. We're live in Satsuma. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, what about the general mood there in Satsuma? This case is now 13 years old. Is the community still focused on it or has it been somewhat forgotten? I've been monitoring this for more than a decade, Joy. You know, in 2010 through 2015, it was still very much on everyone's minds. When I go around the area now, it's half and half. Uh, the old timers who've been here a long time, they remember it, they know it very well, they want her found. But a lot of people have moved here and they don't know about it. They, I, I mentioned Haley Cummings about to them and they say they haven't heard about that case. So it depends on who you talk to. Joy? All right, Scott Johnson reporting live tonight. Scott, thanks for that insight. In 2019, News for Jack's anchor Jennifer Waugh, she revisited the search for Haley 10 years after the girl's disappearance. You can listen to our podcast on the case, which retraces the events from that night and the endless search for answers. It's called Into Thin Air. It's available anywhere you get your podcasts.